Lord Vishnu said, O Narada, please listen to the narrations of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. For they will diminish all sinful reactions. You already know of all the activities of the Supreme Lord, but for the benefit of others, you are asking me again. So now I will tell you about the glories of the sacred Purushottam month. This was already told by Lord Sri Krishna to Yudhishthir Maharaj when they were living in Kamyavan in Vrindavan. Once upon a time, by the arrangement of providence, an extra month came to this world. Everyone took this month to be most inauspicious. Just as one should not touch stool, this month was also seen as untouchable, mal mass. It was constantly unprotected and blasphemed and rejected by everyone as an improper time for any religious and auspicious activities. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today we are here to discuss about the glories of the Purushottam month, which will start from 18th of September. And this is a very special month. Uh, and today we shall know uh, what's so special about this month, all right? So uh, it's very crucial that we utilize this month properly. And then after this month, we will also have the Karthik month, which is also considered to be very auspicious. All right, many of you have been asking me, and this is also known as Malmas, which means, as it says here, untouchable month. <laughs> uh, but uh, there are many benefits of this month, and this month is very specially preferred by people in the spiritual communities. And this is specially known as Purushottam month. Okay, why it is known as Purushottam, we will see that now, right? So many of you have been enthusiastic to do many activities. So we shall discuss what can be done. And if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope, then you can always go to my website down below, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Now, I won't go into the astrology and astronomy of how this came from where and all this that you can check in Google. It's easy stuff, all right? But here's the main stuff, the importance of this month. <coughs> it was um, constantly unprotected, blasphemed and rejected by everyone as an improper time for any religious and auspicious activity. So in Vedic culture, what happens is everything is considered to be like a personality, okay? So this uh, month is also like a personality. This is personified by a lady actually. Being so rejected by all human beings, this extra month became very sad. She came to Vaikuntha to explain her sorrowful situation to Lord Vishnu. Seeing Lord Vishnu on his Simhasan, Simhasan is the throat, she fell down at his lotus feet in a mood of sorrow and grief and she prayed to the Lord, O ocean of mercy, Karuna Sindhu, I have come to you because I am helpless. I am being rejected. I have been rejected and blasphemed by all people of the world. Please protect me. Please shower your mer me your mercy. Please don't be indifferent towards me. Please be considerate towards me. Seeing the pitiable condition of this month, Lord Vishnu said, Do not lament. I shall give you protection from all of your miseries. It is not proper to lament after taking shelter of my lotus feet. Then he took her to Goloka Vrindavan, where Lord Krishna resides, to ask for remedy. So uh, Lord Vishnu has taken uh, her to Golok Vindavan, where Lord Krishna resides, which is at a higher spiritual, uh, uh, I would say, frequency. <laughs> um, the Rasa is higher in Vindavan, right? Then Vaikuntha. So, this is like our inter uh, inter God conversation is going on. You know? Vishnu is talking to Krishna. <laughs> So now Lord Vishnu explained the situation of Mal Mas to Sri Krishna. Lord Krishna said, O oh Lord Vishnu, as you have given protection to this month, I will also give all protection. 
I shall make this poor extra month just like me in quality, fame, opulence, realization, success and in giving benediction to all the devotees. This month will become equally potent to me. I am bestowing all of my divine qualities in this abused month. Named after me, this month will be famous as Purushottam month in this world. There you go. Lord Krishna has declared this month, which in the mundane societies is known as Malmas, is in the spiritual communities known as Purushottam Mas. Okay. It's a very special month. Oh, Janardhan, now that she has imbued my qualities, who, who is Janardhan here? Krishna is referring to Lord Vishnu. Okay. Oh, Janardhan, now that she has imbued my qualities, I myself will become the husband and protector of this Pursottam month. And being equal to me, <clears throat> this month will be the master of all other months. Now this month will become worshipable by one and all. Everyone should pay their obeisances to her, help everyone worship her. This month is equally powerful as me to give any type of benediction to its observer. The worshipper of this month will be able to burn all this past sinful reactions to ashes and thereafter enjoy a blissful life in the material realm and will return back to the spiritual world. In contrary, if a person who fully engages in sense enjoyment and does not give special importance to the sacred month becomes the best candidate for hell. Wow. All human beings should perform devotional service in this Purushottam month. Why? How should you do that? Worshipping me, Shri Krishna, by chanting my holy name. Study of Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. Giving in charity, offering ghee lamp to Krishna daily. Lord Krishna continued, My Golok Vrindavan is unattainable to the performers of austerities, mahatmas engaged in pious activities, to people who maintain celibacy, or to those who fast their whole life's duration. It's unattainable to all this, these people. <laughs> but a fortunate person who follows my instructions and observes this Purushottam month properly and in a fruitful way worships me with will attain fame, opulence, and a good son in this very life. After enjoying a happy life, he will return back to Golo Vrindavan and never back to this temporary miserable world again. The glorious Adhik Mas or Mal Mas is as described. This comes once in... Yes. So it's, it's, it comes very rarely. Of course, it... It's not that rare also, but the thing is, we should utilize this month, okay? So, this is specially a blessed month where we can increase our spiritual practices. And even if you are talking at a mundane sense, if you are um, wanting to you know, achieve something like you know, some goal which you have particular, then you can try to achieve it, put all of your efforts. But at the same time, it's important that during this month, we exclusively devote some time for doing spiritual practices in the morning, especially. So in the morning, when you uh, get up, you can, at least for this month, you can uh, chant, you know, some Vishnu mantras, you can chant Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. You can also chant Om Namo Narayanaya. Okay, these mantras you can chant, you can chant more if you are already chanting. And then once you chant them, you can read uh, the Bhagavad Gita. You can read Srimad Bhagavatam. And I'm very happy in the Bhadra Purnima. Many of you had uh, told me that you had gifted Srimad Bhagavatam to other people. Uh, I had also done one full set donation to uh, one person. And uh, if you want to do more, you can do during this month also. Okay, It's absolutely fine. No worries. And... Uh, <clears throat> especially during the Thursdays of this month, if you can do fasting, it is very good actually. And uh, we should abstain from uh, committing sinful uh, or doing sinful activities during this month because uh, as Krishna has said, you know, it's like those are competitor to hell. So therefore, 
these monks are very powerful they're like you know uh, as they say uh, razor um, or what they say uh, edge of a sword double edge sword <laughs> so it's like if you use it properly then uh, you get lots of benefits if you use it the wrong way it can destroy you okay? <clears throat> so if you are uh, uh, having any kind of addictions and all this then try to not do it during this month try to not eat meat uh, during this month if possible try to follow celibacy if you can <laughs> and if you can then try to visit some holy place of course uh, the crisis corona crisis is going on so that may not be possible and that's not recommended also to do now but what I'm saying is if you are very near and if you are already staying in a dham, like if you are already in Kanchi Kuram, then you can visit uh, Varadharaj temple and take all the precautions and uh, maintain social distancing, sanitize yourself, alright? So I'm not uh, addressing uh, breaking social norms here because if too many people come, then it can be trouble. But if you can, then do it, okay? If you cannot or if you feel it's not required, then you can sit at home and you can chant more, you can read more, uh, you can read about different pastimes from Srimad Bhagavatam, you can read about the uh, Gajendra Moksha pastime, it will be very nice and you can also read about uh, uh, the first canto, passing away of uh, Bhishma Dev, you can read, the very very interesting pastimes to read during the Purushottam Mass actually. Okay. And uh, if you see in the internet and in YouTube, there's a lot of hotspots. Oh, you should do this. You should do that. You should not do that. You should not do this during this, you know, Purusha mass. But that's the problem. We waste such powerful and such beautiful months discussing useless things like, can we do this? Can we do that? Ye kar sakte, wo kar sakte, ye nahi kar sakte, wo nahi kar sakte. And then that month passes away. Right? So let us not waste time discussing about what we can and what we cannot do during this month let's focus on what we should do okay that is how an intelligent person behaves so intelligent person asks what should i do during this month all right so do more spiritual activity so whatever we do during this month gets multiplied by you know thousand million billion trillion unlimited number of times okay? so therefore it's very crucial that we utilize this month properly and not waste it just hovering around, <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. Okay? So therefore, please uh, take note of the time this month is very crucial and utilize it properly. And I'm very sure you will benefit from this. All right. And it's a great time to connect to your gurus, your sadhus, uh, the sadhu sangha, the satsang that you have. And you can also connect with your shiksha gurus and learn different things from them. Or if you are qualified to take Diksha, it's a great time to take Diksha this month. Okay. Or if you want to read the Srimad Bhagavatam and start, it's a great time. Or you want to do some donation, it's a great time. You want to do fasting and read more and do more Japa. And as I said, if you can then visit some holy place, then also it's a great time. Okay. But anyways, if you cannot, then uh, you can just sit at home and chant the mantras and read Bhagavad Gita. It's very essential. Okay. As uh, Lord Krishna has said, this month will become equally potent to me. I am bestowing all my divine qualities in this abused month. <laughs> Named after me, this month will be famous as Purushottam. Purushottam means best of the human beings. Lord Ram is known as Mariyada Purushottam. Vishnu is known as Lila Purushottam. And Krishna is known as Una Purushottam. So anybody who does spiritual activities this month will become like Purushottam. Either you are a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Okay, it's Purushottam doesn't mean uh, Purush means man or Stri means woman. It doesn't mean that. It means best of the human beings. Okay, so <clears throat> or best of the beings, you could say. So uh, we will develop all the divine qualities, as the Shrimad Bhagavatam says. Now, Sarvair Gunais Tattva Samasate Sura. One who engages in spiritual, uh, in cultivation of spiritual knowledge towards Vasudev. Lord Krishna, um, they obtain all the divine qualities of the devatas, you know, like humility, tolerance, truthfulness, simplicity, cleanliness, and all this, all the 26 qualities. As Krishna says, you know, Samo Damas Tapas Socham Shanti Rajava Nevacha Gyanam Vigyanam Astigyam Bhamma Karma Swavavajam. You can read the shlokas. Okay? I hope you utilize this month properly and do not waste it like every other month. <laughs> 
all right so stop gossiping about uh, what's going on in the world and you know uh, who is dying who committed suicide or who killed whom or who is doing what focus on your spiritual life nobody is going to take care of yourself you you yourself have to do it all right so realize your predicament understand that you are in a precarious situation you do not have much years to live right so how many ever years you have eight hours you will sleep eight hours you will work how much time do you have for yourself for your soul hardly any right so utilize this time and do not waste it okay that will be all from my side thank you for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and uh, some other videos related to this topic i'll put it here and if you want a consultation please go to my website below exoticastrology.in what is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him